Hey, what's going on everyone? Scott here. We're at Nuka World, of course, and we're checking out the Fizztop Grill Settlement Ready. Um, I downloaded it, and you can see I, I can't get it in settlement mode right there. But if I walk over here, and you can see where I'm at, there's the patio up there, there's the entrance into the, well, this part of Nuka Town. And... Here I'm getting into workshop mode. I mean, it's actually kind of a large build area that comes with this mod. I haven't really built uh, anything outside of the Fizz Top Grill patio. Uh, you know, and I do have scrapped that settlement. And there's a lot of stuff that you can scrap, but then there's a, a, a lot more that you can't. And to give you an idea of kind of the borders, you can see right there that street light. And it go, you know, from there, you can't go onto that patio. But if you kind of go diagonally, uh, you see right there, I'm out of it. But if you go towards that piece of junk fence right there, kind of diagonal right there, that's where the border of the, the, the workshop area is on this side uh, through this walkway right here. But then if you kind of stick with the sidewalk if you get into the street part it's it's out of it and then you get to the edge of it right about in here uh, you see right there I just went out of workshop mode but if you walk back over here you can get right back into workshop mode uh, I kind of stayed in the water going around that map uh, and was able to stay in workshop mode. So it's actually quite a large uh, build area that you've got for this uh, with this mod. And then, like I said, I haven't really built anything. I don't have any settlers here, as you saw, as you see right there at the top. No settlers, no food, no water. Uh, you know, because I don't know. I, I'm going to play around with it to see if I can make a settlement out of it, but. I'm just not sure. Um, you know, I did it. I downloaded this mainly so I could make the Fizztop Grill patio the way I wanted it to look. But you can see here, you know, even with scrap that settlement, there's a lot that you can't scrap. And the things that you can scrap, uh, you know, if you do, you know, like I can scrap that bush and, and the building. Well, that probably because of snappy build, but, uh, you know, the tree and... You can see there I can scrap the the leaves, but the pile of Nuka Town trash is still there. And it looks kind of weird if you just get rid of part of the trash and part of it's there. But, you know, so I kind of walking around, seeing what I could scrap and what I can't. Uh, you know, deciding if I really want to or not. Because you can see there's the Nuka World trash mixed in with the regular trash. And it would just... It would just look weird if you got rid of part of the trash, but not all of it. You know, I could probably get rid of all of that right there. But then that kind of ruins how everything else looks. You know what I mean? And then that's one of the traders that was here before. Uh, you know, and you can see what I can scrap inside this little, uh, you know, old diner. And what I can't. But the traders that were here, you know, because I, I did, I went ahead and did the, the Raider ending uh, with Nuka World. But then I quickly realized that building a settlement with the Raiders is severely, severely limited. Uh, and I didn't want to get rid of any of my Commonwealth settlements. You know, the, the ones that I've spent time building. I didn't want to redo them or, you know, whatever. So I downloaded a mod that let you complete Nuka World with the Raiders and you don't have to go and take any of your Commonwealth settlements. And then I quickly realized that that was kind of crap and there's not a whole lot you can do with it. So I went ahead and just killed all the Raiders. So the traders that were left are still there, but you can't assign them to anything. They're not part of the settlement. Uh, but you see, you know, I'm still in workshop mode, even way over here in the corner. And, you know, just kind of showing you guys what you can and what you can't scrap. 
so you want to be really careful, you know, if you download this mod, what you can and what you can't scrap. Like the Disciples flags there. You know, I could probably get rid of the, the uh, posts holding it up, but... You know, or get rid of the elevator part, but that's weird. You know, we'll go up there and check that out in a minute. Uh, I did kind of clean up around that front door just a little bit. And you can see here, you could scrap all of this, but why would you really want to? You know, it would just, to me, it would make it look really weird. So I did change it up a little bit, added a work uh, power armor station, threw my Quantum uh, X01 in there for right now, just for showing you guys a little bit of what, uh, what you can do with this mod. Uh, now this shack right here, I could probably clean this up and turn this into something. Uh, see there, I did, uh, I used the cheat terminal and spawned a raider settler, and I tried to assign them to that booze joint mat, but they just weren't having it. They didn't do it. And that's what got me to the point where, you know, hey, screw this raider stuff. So, you know, there's one of the dead disciples for me killing them anyway. You know, and it, it, you can even come all the way back here where the disciples were. Now, the inside cell going in the door, that would, uh, you know, that's not in the build area. It's just the outside part. But you can see this. I could clean all of this up back here and really make something out of it. You know, either, you know, housing for settlers or whatever. Uh, I am afraid to, I look, you know, I can scrap that stuff, but I'm really afraid to right now. I may save the game, try to scrap it, see what it does, and then if it doesn't work, load it back, whatever. But with the Disciples gone, I'm going to get rid of these blood troughs. At least that helps make it look a little bit better anyway. But so far, I'm really, I, I like this mod, you know, I mean, you can... You know, and, and when I play around with it more, like I said, I haven't got Settlers here. I downloaded it mainly just so I could redo the Fizz Top Grill patio how I wanted it done. Because it's, it's kind of my player home, you know. And the, the one Raider Settler that I spawned and tried to assign to that mat wound up not being assigned to it. And he wound up up on Fizz Top patio all the time anyway. So that's, you know, that's what got me to where I was like, nah, I'm not even going to mess with it. But now we're going to head up and I'll show you guys how I've redone the Fizz Top patio the way I wanted it done. The way, you know, to make it look how I want it to look. Because uh, then, you know, in the vanilla game, you really can't, you can't change any of this. Now, I'm not quite sure that this mod is available on PS4, but this is my newly remodeled Fizz Top Grill Patio Player Home. Uh, some of it I left. Some of it I've changed. Uh, I did The main thing I did was clean up most of the trash. Uh, you know, I've added all new decorations on the wall. Got rid of those uh, vanilla paintings and things like that. Uh, you know, got to have my refilling Nuka-Cola machine. And then the uh, animatronics were kind of a pain. I had to find a spot way down there to turn them green and then put them on a glitch mat and then bring them up here and then you see there I got my armor workbench and little sitting area over here which I just cleaned up the trash and put decorations that I wanted to put around you know along with some of the armor uh, racks and things with the different outfits of the Raiders that I killed that's Dixie Savoy you know and then of course you know some clutter for the shelves and then up here in the little bedroom area, uh, I got uh, William Black. That was his armor. Nisha, Mags Black, Oswald, Cito's rags. And then some of it, like the overseer's trunk, I did leave. You know, just added some different decorations to it to make it a little more the way I wanted it. Changed the bed to the pre-war bed added a uh, there was a bureau here but I added the do-it-yourself so that way I could have full shelves and then of course you see the the new decorations and everything that I've added 
uh, that's through you know better stores and things like that uh, in the description uh, I put a link to a, uh, a web page where I have my entire list of mods and load order so if you guys want to check that out just hit that link in the description and uh, you know maybe my load order will help you guys out if you're having problems but uh, you know I like the desk put some of my own decorations on it made myself a little you know the the uh, power armor station was there so I just made a power armor uh, work station with the overboss armor and then uh, you know if you remember they had those weird mannequins not that the pack ones aren't any less weird but I thought they went better uh, and then that's the the main workbench for the settlement it puts it up here on the patio out of the way and then a lot of the junk here around the bar was here and I left it and I just added a few things to it you know uh, like the nuka display and the liquor bottles and I put the mannequins there to kind of look like bartenders and you know but most of the stuff along the bar was stuff that was already there I didn't move it or touch it so then we'll come around over this way and you see how those, those mannequins I thought just fit better now the uh, chem station was here I just added some decorations to it and around it make it look more like a regular workstation and of course you know the the new decorations and things like that uh, all around uh, those animatronics were a pain to get up here the booths were here all I did was add the jangles to it uh, and then from there all the way around I changed added the minigun and then of course you gotta have the the Nuka World Nuka Cola power armor on display because that's just I don't know it's just cool added a weapons bench another armor mannequin with the Western the cowhide then I wanted a you know a regular kitchen type thing and a lot of the stuff it's the same it's a good mix of what was there and things that I've added uh, you'll kind of see as I walk around the stuff that that comes up with a name that you can pick up was there but then the stuff that doesn't that's what I've added you know so I thought you know might as well use part of the decorations that's already here you know I added the liquor bottles and the coffee and stuff like that and of course the shelf full of food but you know a lot of stuff like the tea teapot and all of that that was there before and then you know most of this stuff around the kitchen the bread box I added but all of the other junk was was there and I thought hell it looked good so I'm gonna keep it and of course I added a cooking stove and uh, one of the soda mix soda mixer stations and put up some of my favorite of the new decorations that I downloaded and things like that and this area was here I added the giddy up buttercup replaced the TV with one that worked but still looks dilapidated and then uh, the Nuka girl animatronics that's the unlock settlement objects it was like the rest of them over there I had to turn it green way down there and then bring it up on a mat and place it it was took a little bit to get her placed right to make her look like she's sitting on the top of the couch and it didn't look weird I wanted to get her sitting down on it but it just didn't quite work out that way but I thought it looked she looked great sitting there on the couch so this is the fizz top grill patio my little player home here in Nuka world and I'll play around with the rest of the mod to see if I can get a settlement built up right now I'm just kinda I just finished up the Nuka world red rocket and I'm waiting for a bunch of settlers to get in there uh, so I can man everything you know I don't want to do a video on it yet with no settlers there so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please hit that like button and if you got any questions leave a comment so thanks for watching guys have a good one